The Olympic Games in Paris officially kicks off today with a grand opening ceremony along the River Seine. Oh, the Guthrie celebrations, an event are made possible by a mountain of money. And the bill's been growing by leaps and bounds over the years. But Paris, the host of this year's Summer Games, is trying to keep costs down. And the International Olympic Committee, or IOC, is hoping the city will be a blueprint for a more sustainable financial model. The Paris Olympic Organizing Committee has budgeted $4.7 billion, with 96% of this cost paid for by the private sector. Another $4.7 billion has been invested in infrastructure, although the city is not building many new facilities, bringing the total to more than $9 billion. Paris 2024 is the first Games to implement new bidding procedures which emphasize sustainability. Uh, that means not building fresh facilities unless there's a clear legacy plan for them. If Paris pulls it off, it will mean major savings compared to Tokyo in 2020, nearly $14 billion spent, a significant cost reduction from London's bill of close to $17 billion in 2012, and less than half of what Rio de Janeiro spent in 2016 at close to $24 billion. Now, one place that managed to turn in a profit for hosting the Olympics was Los Angeles in 1984. LA ended up being the sole bidder for the Summer Games that year, so it negotiated exceptionally favorable terms with the IOC. It kept costs down by using existing stadiums and infrastructure rather than building new facilities. It also benefited from a sharp jump in TV broadcast revenue. The result, an operating surplus of more than $200 million. LA learned lessons from Montreal's 1976 Olympics. The projected cost for those summer games was $124 million. But an expensive and delayed new stadium plus other items caused the final bill to raise past the billion-dollar mark. And it wasn't fully paid off until 2006. Now, cities do earn from broadcast revenue, with the last summer games in Tokyo reaping more than $3 billion. But the IOC keeps more than half of all TV revenue. Now, one estimate for this year's broadcast and streaming rights stands at $3.3 billion. Sponsorship brings in another chunk, and Paris is on track to achieve its more than $1.3 billion target based on one estimate. There are also spin-off benefits to tourism businesses, but some analysts are skeptical these you know, will make up the overall costs. Now, the IOC still maintains the games are not just about financial prudence, but a celebration of sporting excellence brought around the world. Now, the new rules also encourage the use of existing facilities in neighbouring countries to reduce costs and delays. It's something Italy may do during the 2026 Winter Games.